K1's new poster boy. Rico Verhoeven, Holland. This 20-year-old fighter's got both the brains and the bra. And he's on his way to becoming the new face of K1. Killer punches and leg-breaking low kicks. Backed up by the kind of combinations you'll only find in Holland, this kid's fighting style screams K1. K1 is always on the lookout for new talent. And all eyes are on Verhoeven to see if they've discovered a gym. His second K1 fight is in Hawaii. K1 isn't just about punches, it's a fight of spirit. Koichi, Japan! From Japan, the land where K1 was born, comes a new samurai. His fighting style is that of the warriors of old. He sacrifices all with his eyes on victory alone. For to the samurai, to lose is the same as dying. This fight was decided at the last moment, but a true warrior is always prepared. I do my best, and uh, so I kick his ass. Those it's K1, the next generation. Rico Verhoeven versus Koichi in a USA Grand Prix reserve fight. Chicken skin. <laughs> you guys going up back where you didn't then come back. In the blue corner, standing six feet three inches, weighing 224 pounds, Hoichi. Well, as we get underway in the first part of the night of the Fields K1 USA, 
This is the first uh, of the reserve there. fights for the night. Marco uh, Hammer Castanini and joining me tonight is none uh, other than uh, 64th and Yokozuna Akabono. Akabono. You've got goosebumps and so have I. As this reserve fight that gets underway. Hello to you too. And Rico has started well. Using his reach nicely. He's the 19-year-old. 16 fights for 14 wins. He's a Muay Thai stylist. And he's taken on Koichi. He comes from Nikos Petrus. Spirit Jim, the Koichi is the Koichi's of age. Has had 17 fights for 13 wins, so uh, very well pedigreed both these fighters. Yeah, in most uh, tournaments you would see them in the real tournament and they'll not move it in that Certainly uh, stands testament to the quality we're going to witness. And there's a beautiful uh, centre we're, uh, we're sitting in at the moment. Stan Sheriff Arena, located uh, at the University of Hawaii. Uh, actually, it's the first time they ever let any full contact sport use this uh, arena. It's testament to uh, your influence, no doubt, in uh, bringing K1 here. What an exciting event. Already it's uh, Koichi just uh, working down low, but uh, Rico, very much the aggressor, pushing forward, using his reach well. Nice step up knee off the lead leg from Rico. They're really pushing the pace on this one. Oh, a big by rear knee. He switches through nicely, Rico. Pushes forward, works the hand combination well. Finishes with a low kick. And they're really not daunted by the, uh, the bow of Koichi at all. Just uh, pushing through absolutely everything. Nice step through knee. And the, uh, the Dutch player is uh, doing it in fine style. He's been training since he was six years of age, Rico. Yeah, he, lo he looks like he, he looks very comfortable in centering. On such a big occasion, uh, he stepped in and uh, the first round is looking very comfortable. As I said, really pushing uh, Koichi. Koichi, uh, full contact uh, karate background. Obviously now getting a Nicholas Petters. We'll see later in the evening, competing in the tournament. Big right hand just uh, behind the guard there from uh, Rico. Pushing forward again, measuring nicely with the yeah, yeah, yeah. down. There's the big lead kick, chops Koichi right off his feet. Hey, drug, drug. Nice hey, side right hey, hand, and drug. outside Thaiki hey, 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 a couple of punches. Walks hey, yeah. forward, ties up, one clinch knee. Hey, 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 Koichi coming back, pushing with pace. But they're not really phasing. Oh. What a great start to a great night of action. From Holland versus Koichi from Japan. Akabono, how did you see that first round? Well, this is the thing about K1. You know, I'm not very uh, too much into the technical part, but it's just a lot of action. It is a lot of action. And first round, three minutes, and they just these guys just kick, punch, a lot of action. Very exciting today. Very exciting and great skills from Mariko Verhoeven. I like what I'm seeing from the young man, the 19-year-old. I tell you what, at 19, he's only going to get better. Can oh, you imagine yeah, him when he's yeah. 25? Maybe we get him back next year. <laughs> Already signing him up for uh, for the next event. He uh, he lists Peter Arts as uh, his role model, and uh, he's certainly is doing a fine job of job of uh, emulating Peter's fine style as a young man, also. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sitting there, all wrapped up, and uh, no doubt we'll give Koichi some uh, sound advice. That's a Verhoeven again back. Nice step through knee, that is certainly his strength. He brings those knees right up to the face of Koichi with great ease. Works the body. That's a Verhoeven. Koichi at bay. Koichi trying to find a way in, trying to find an opening, but nothing coming at this stage. Nice step through. And yet again, from Rico. Yeah, Rico is taller, has a longer reach, lanky. Must be a very hard for Koichi to jump inside and get, get in. Get in on, uh, on such a tall fighter. And he punches nice and straight. Good technique, nice skills, nice step through knee under the punches. Look at that for a low kick. Smashing by Koichi tries to answer back. 
Nice straight right through the guard from Verhoeven. Again, Koichi just uh, putting a kick on the end of his, uh, his combination. Snap his right hand from uh, Rico and working the, the high-low principle nicely. Chopping away at the legs, then comes upstairs, works to the body. They break. Center referee telling the fighters to keep busy, and that's why we love K1. It is action from the very first bell. Rico again pushing the pace, going up to the head and then down to the body. Nice boxing skills from Rico. Then kick on the end of the punches to, to uh, really round off the combination. You see Foyti still in there. He, he comes back with a, a little bit of flair on his own. Exactly, and he said that. So please, step, please, step. Is, is I'm going to get this out. So He's absolutely going to go for it from the start. Being a full contact uh, karate fighter, no doubt he's been tested many times in the bare knuckle arena. But he has a great spirit, of course, coming from uh, Nicholas Pedersen. Always a lot of spirit from that fan. You see Rico here has that uh, European low kick with actually chops. It's like yeah, cut, yeah. cutting a tree. Really, really throws the hip and then lets the leg sort of get its own momentum as it cuts down on the outside thigh with the shin bone again. Again, Rico just uh, working away and you can see him just step across and break out the shin down. He gets caught with a punch and it just seems to infuriate him. Rico now pushing. With the right hand, he's having a lot of luck with that, and also the outside thigh kick. Koichi's going to need to start checking those kicks. Yeah, you do see his leg is off, he's getting swollen there. I think that Ice is going to be his best friend tomorrow, the way he's going, Koichi. Second round now, they keep pushing towards the final. Rico, I'd like to see him work that step knee up through the middle. He's bringing it around to the side. And another great round. A lot of action, a lot of action. Exciting. I'll, uh, I'll say uh, on my scorecard, I'll be uh, leading the way of uh, the Dutch fighter Rico Verhoeven, but uh, you can't take anything away from uh, Koichi. Koichi is a lot of heart, a lot of spirit, warrior spirit, and uh, he will not uh, give this one away if there's any opportunity to come back. How did you see it? Well, uh, Rico is uh, a lot busier than Koichi, um, so I'll be leaning more to Rico's side as points wise. Um, but Koichi is still in a fight. You never know with, with this much action, somebody can throw a looping overhand and a somebody get caught. A looping something. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in K1, there's always uh, the opportunity that one punch can end the fight. Will Koichi find that one punch? Ahead of the cards, but uh, you cannot discount Koichi. Nice step through in there. Puts the head in the air. Uses his brain so well. The principle working. Uppercut brings the knees. Goes to work on the body now. At the end of the body, step through in there. Bang. Oh, which is really having to deep, dig deep now. Pushing forward again. Rico smashes the outside thigh. And again, he sees line it up, go to the inside thigh. Double up with the hands down to the body. He lines up for the big hook. Koichi fights back. You can tell he was training since he was six years old. He was just like a robot. He's coming forward. He keeps coming forward. And that's the uh, best part of the world. And you know what? He knows this is a big opportunity to showcase what he has to offer. So uh, there can be no greater prize than a body on the K1 stage. Smashes the knee down into the thigh as well, does Rico. A little bit of the Muay Thai tactics coming in there. Nice check. Good defense. So the only opening I can really see for Koichi is yeah, 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 the rear. Yeah. If he really rolls the hip root, shuts the distance down and perhaps throws the upper cut on the right to the left foot, which uh, hey. uh, Rico's going to allow him to get into that range. Yeah. Uh, he tries to, uh, to, to get the uppercut yeah. through. Yeah. All those yeah. days yeah. of training, maybe I'll learn my thing or two, baby. Again, he smashes the outside for Rico. 
Never say die, but the Rico has been training five days a week for this one. Four hours a day, five days a week. And uh, he is certainly focused to try and get the victory on this very prestigious event. And there it is. After three rounds of non-stop action, it is Rico Verhoeven home that puts his fists in the air, very confident that perhaps he could get the victory. Let's uh, go to the judges and see how they scored it. Akabono, how did you score it? Well, I scored it. Uh, it was a very uh, exciting match, but Rico, like I said earlier, Rico was uh, a lot more aggressive, and he was always on the offensive, always coming forward. Well, I'll, I'll agree 110% with you there. I think it was a, a great showcase of skills from Rico Verhoeven. This 19-year-old, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him on the K1 circuit, and I look forward to that because he is showcasing some great martial arts skills. Nice head kick. He can chop low effectively. He works high. That was a beautiful uh, executed jumping knee from Koichi. Even though he was tired, he still managed to pull something out in the last round. We'll go to the judges in just a moment and see how they called it. Cabano, you'd have to agree, Rico Verhoeven, a very exciting prospect. Oh yes, he's, he's, uh, he has a lot of potential in this K1. And uh, hopefully uh, they also have tournaments in, in Holland. Yeah. The, the ladies tell me he's a good looking boy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take their advice on that. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he'll be used on uh, many a promotion to uh, woo the female crowd to come along. Results. Judge Kyle, score. 32 27. Red Rico Verhoeven. Judge Dave score 29 2 28. Red Rico Verhoeven. Judge Ray score 30 27. Red Rico Verhoeven. And the winner is Rico. He takes the first victory of the night on what is promising to be a very exciting night if that fight is anything to judge by. Yes, that was just our first opening fight of the night. gets better from here, I'm sure. Coming up next, Stefan de Blitzleko from Germany. Gotta love that. Versus the Junior Sua right here in Hawaii. 